Hey guys, this is your Cloud Strategist channel. I'm Sridhar. In this video, we're going to continue looking at the different entities within the Microsoft ecosystem. We looked at customers, partners, and Microsoft, and the different licensing options uh, meant for partners in the last video. I'm going to continue on that one, and we're going to look at what are the different agreements that would be needed by different entities uh, with Microsoft. So let's go back to the diagram. Uh, we had Microsoft, uh, we looked at a partner who's willing to offer services to one of their customer. This partner could be one of the ISV, MSP and hosting service provider. Now they had option to buy CSP Direct, which is a licensing program that they signed with Microsoft to render services to their customer. Um, at the same time, they could actually um, use the distributor who's who's the csp indirect model through which they could consume the licensing um, but let's look at the different um, agreements that somebody would sign up with microsoft as part of this whole conversation right so let's assume we had the customers who are directly consuming stuff from microsoft in this case for any of the online cloud services they would ideally sign something called the microsoft um, a customer agreement. So that's a recent one this year, um, very um, commonly referred to as MCUA. Uh, so that's the end customer agreement that somebody would sign for their online agreement with Microsoft. Now, if this was uh, through the partner, still the end customer signs the same agreement, but the partner has got additional things to do. So the partner, in this case, let's look at the distributor, uh, who's the CSP Disty, who's the cloud solution provider, uh, in this case would be signing something called the MPA, which is the Microsoft Partner Agreement. Now, there is also the partner who's delivering the services. In this case, we had the partner. So the partner signs the partner agreement as well. And of course, the customer signs what I refer to as the MCUA, which is the Microsoft Customer Agreement. So those are the three agreements that somebody would sign to get into the program. But there are a bunch of uh, um, prerequisites and steps that's involved for a given partner to get started on all these uh, Microsoft um, ecosystem, right? Uh, so if you want to be a partner to Microsoft, the first thing that you would do is essentially go get started as a partner, uh, which needs a Microsoft partner identification number. They're commonly called as the MPN, which is the Microsoft Partner Network and you get a unique identifier from there. It's a simple registration process. So I'm gonna show you the uh, website and how you would typically get started. Uh, so you're getting into partner.microsoft.com or so search for Microsoft Partners and then you get to this uh, particular website. Um, this gives you a lot more information on what's in it for uh, partners as part of the Microsoft Partner Network. Um, so some common uh, information for meant for partners before you get into um, signing up with Microsoft. Now the easy way to get started is uh, to get with the, the membership. Um, so you've got the menu there which talks about enrolling into the Microsoft Partner Network. Uh, I did talk about the licensing options so that's where a partner would be choosing one of these options. Um, predominantly the cloud solution provider program. So if you click on enroll, it's 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 no cost enrollment process, uh, but obviously you've got your business entity that you need to be, um, that you need to have the details handy so that you could start enrolling into the Microsoft um, partner network. So once you have the MPN ID, that's a prerequisite, you get to sign the Microsoft partner agreement or if you are a customer, you sign the Microsoft customer, customer agreement. If you're a customer, you don't need an MPN ID um, necessarily. You could start consuming directly. Uh, but if you are going through um, the CSP program as a partner, then you get to sign up the MPN ID and then eventually sign up for the program itself, the Cloud Solution Provider program. Now, if you are um, a reseller, like a partner, uh, in this scenario where you are actually consuming it through the distributor, uh, you are still signing the MPA, uh, in which case you would follow through the process defined by your distributor in order to get your licensing. Now that could be in the form of a portal that the distributor uh, might make it, make it available for the partners for them to sign up for licensing. That, it, that could include 
uh, Office 365 or Azure licensing. Um, sometimes the district could do this on your uh, on your behalf um, as against a self-service portal uh, which is still fine the process remains the same it's just the way it's been uh, achieved is different uh, so once the licensing agreements are all in place now the partner is ready to uh, go start consuming licenses through this model again csp is a pay-as-you-go model you're consuming it in, uh, you're consuming it for the month and then you pay by uh, by your monthly consumption. It's based on uh, pay-per-use model. Now, how do we get started with Azure with regards to uh, this? We're going to look at that in details in the upcoming videos. So watch out for the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.